either currently on strike or gearing up to be on strike because at the end of the day we are all confronting the same challenge which is an unacceptable, unprecedented concentration of wealth and corporate greed in America. But we know that the way that we bust that up is by standing together in solidarity. As we say on the line, direct action gets the good, now and always. The only way that we can do this is by showing them that we are stronger, that our solidarity is stronger than their greed, that our care for one another will overcome their endless desire for more. Always and forever. That's what this is about. And frankly, while this is a fight against AI, more than AI, this is a fight against greed. This is a fight against Wall Street, and this is a fight against the endless pursuit of more wealth. How many private jets does David Zaslav need? For real, how many private jets do these CEOs need? It is insatiable. It is unacceptable. I do not know how any person can say, I need another $100 million before another person can have health care. Who does that? What level are we at right now? But the only way that we can bust this up is by giving these people in charge a reality check. Yeah. And by reminding them that if they leave the job, life goes on. But if we leave the job, everything comes to a halt. Yeah. Everything comes to a halt. Yeah. And all of this will grind to a halt and the money train will end for them if labor and actors and writers and everybody, all workers, aren't respected and paid with dignity. We also have to remind this whole country that New York City is the union town. Do not mess with us. Do not mess with SAG. Do not mess with WGA. Don't mess with Teamsters. Don't mess with UAW. Don't mess with anybody. And I want to thank you all once again for staying on the line. You all are an inspiration to this entire city and a reminder that when things feel like they're getting worse and worse and we don't know what else to do, this is what we do.